Today we study the term susceptibility used in magnetic material. The term susceptibility is very very important. So the susceptibility is denoted by the symbol which is called chi. Okay, the symbol is something like this and this which is chi. Okay, C H I G, not the chi. For left charge, chi is jar. Okay, jar, alcohol, etc. So this is chi, not the chi, and it is a Greek letter, something like X. Okay, so we have studied so many things so far. So number one, we studied the magnetization. Number two, we studied the magnetizing field. So again, let us do one. Uh, experiment to understand susceptibility so this is my what is this this is again my uh, screwdriver okay so this is my screwdriver like this and this is my screwdriver and we put a bar magnet here this is south pole and this is north pole and it has got the magnetic field okay it has got the magnetic field and this magnetic field is what does it doing it is magnetizing the it is magnetizing the this magnetic material which is my screw driver screw driver and this field is my magnetizing field okay magnetizing field this field is my magnetizing field which is magnetizing the screwdriver which is my x vector okay now here after some time the screwdriver this will get magnetized it will get magnetized and the amount of magnetization this will get magnetized and this is called my magnetization this is called my screw bars will get magnetized and that is called magnetization and which is my capital M which is also okay I will not write the vector here so this is my magnetization and this is my magnetizing field because of this magnetic field it is getting magnetized which is called magnetization and this is m and this magnetizing field is h now what is susceptibility is that amount okay how by what is the value of that magnetic field which is present in this screwdriver due to the magnetization understood how much is the value of that magnetic field which is present in the screwdriver due to magnetization this is my susceptibility how susceptible is this screwdriver with the magnetizing field understood how much what is the value how much is the value of the magnetic field or magnetization produced in this screwdriver due to the magnetizing field is called my susceptibility okay now in mathematics okay we talk in the mathematics only in physics so mathematically mathematically okay so the mathematically it is the ratio of magnetization to the magnetizing field what is this this is the ratio ratio of magnetization m to the magnetizing field that is h so that is the sky the susceptibility is ratio of m to the magnetizing field h so this is the susceptibility again if the susceptibility is large it if the susceptibility you write this okay if the susceptibility is large the magnetization is more if the susceptibility is small the magnetization is less 
okay and if the susceptibility is negative there is no magnetization number one susceptibility positive and small okay there is small magnetization okay there is small magnetization the material will get very small magnetized if it is positive and and la great large larger than one if it is more than one and it is positive then there is a more magnetization magnetization okay if chi this chi is positive and more than one there is more magnetization a small a small magnetization when this is positive and small okay if it is small that is less than one less then one you can say there will be small magnetization now if the chi is negative okay negative no magnetization no magnetization so this is how we distinguish between the different type of materials now if it is positive and less than one small magnetization and this refers to this refers when it is this okay positive small less than one it is paramagnetic paramagnetic positive large than one it is ferromagnetic ferromagnetic if it is negative no magnetization that is diamagnetic diamagnetic so we will go to the more discussion of the values of chi in later um, later lectures so this is just the uh, introduction to this one okay if it is positive less than 1 positive less than 1 0 0.0034 0 0.0063 etc the magnetic material is paramagnetic if chi is positive and large than 1 ferromagnetic if it is negative then no magnetization that is my diamagnetic and this chi has no unit it has no unit why because this is also magnetic field this is also magnetic field the unit of magnetic field and magnetic field will cancel so the chi has no unit so in the next lecture we are going to compare the three types of okay we are going to study the three types of magnetic materials paramagnetic material diamagnetic material and ferromagnetic material in detail thank you